Every moment of every day, your heart is having a conversation with your brain. Every human heart around the heart is a field of energy. Five to eight feet, two to three meters diameter. And this field of energy can be measured now in ways that make it very useful to us. The Institute of Heart Math has designed equipment that will help us to measure this field. Every moment of every day, your heart is sending signals to your brain, telling your brain what kind of energy to send to your body. Every moment of every day, there is a signal from your heart to your well, what, brain. What we now know yeah. is when I was in school and when many of our listeners were in school, we were taught that this is a physical reality made of atoms. And our atoms would look like little solar systems. They were modeled as little solar systems, things in the middle called a nucleus with other things orbiting them like electrons. And, and those days are long gone. We now look at atoms rather than things orbiting around other things, we look at them as concentrations of energy in space and time where there are no clear-cut things. Now where this gets imp important is that, that scientists, uh, and this is in the standard physics textbooks, this is no surprise what I'm about to say, is that if you change the field of energy that the atom lives in, you change the atom. You can change that field electrically uh, or you can change it magnetically. And there are terms for the, the effects, the Zeeman effect, the Stark effect, are, are well-documented effects of uh, electrical and magnetic changes in the field that change the atom. Or while it sounds technical and maybe not relevant, where it gets really relevant very fast, is our hearts are the strongest bioelectrical and magnetic field generators in our bodies. Our hearts generate stronger electrical fields than our brains. They generate stronger magnetic fields than our brains. Our hearts are 5,000 times as powerful magnetically than our brains. And we hear about EKGs of our hearts. They're up to 100 times stronger than the EEG, the electrical information in our brains. I was trained as a scientist. And in my training, there was never an allowance for uh, the possibility this field could exist. So this field, the matrix, is, is the field of intelligent, non-conventional energy. It doesn't work the way electricity or, or broadcast energy works. Uh, and perhaps that's one of the reasons it's taken so long for science to catch up, because our equipment isn't built to detect this kind of energy. Beyond any reasonable doubt, the new science is showing us that our hearts do much more than simply pump blood through our bodies. We can build a machine to do that. An artificial heart will pump the blood. But we now understand that our heart does much, much more than simply pump blood. That our heart literally has its own brain. It is called neural intelligence. And it is the heart intelligence that our ancestors understood that gives new meaning to the role of the human heart in our lives today. Our world, our physical world, is made of fields of energy, electrical fields, and magnetic fields of energy. But what our own science now is, is showing us is that while our brain is certainly important, and when I was in school, my textbook taught me that the brain is where the action is, that the brain, the brain is the master organ in the body. Well, interestingly enough, the brain's not the first organ that forms in the human body, it's, it's the human heart. And as the organ develops, it begins to regulate the chemistry through the rest of the body. And what we now know is that our heart sends the signals to the brain that trigger the chemistry in the brain that's released into the body. The electrical signal, between the heart and the brain is the key to understanding this relationship. When we are in what is called coherence, an experience that is measured as 0 0.10 hertz, 0 0.10 cycles per second, when we're feeling the feelings that allow us to experience 0 0.10 cycles per second, that is when our coherence is optimum. That's when we're sending the optimum signal between our heart and our brain. That's when our brain begins to release life-affirming chemistry into our bodies. Healing chemistry, our immune systems are strongly enhanced. Our anti-aging hormones such as DHEA increase 100% over 
a three-minute period of time just from having this feeling. <laughs>